Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to Comic Talk. I'm Matt Kay and today I'm going to be talking about Captain America Steve Rogers issue 11. If you guys want to catch up, I recently did a dual issue review on issue 10 and Civil War 2 The Oath as they both pertain to the events currently going on in the Marvel Universe and Captain, Mer Captain America himself. So if you want to check them out, hit that link. A quick recap though, Captain America is currently a deep cover agent for Hydra after his affiliations were changed by Kobik, a sentient cosmic cube who changed Cap's past under the orders of the Red Skull. Currently Cap is the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and is prepping for his endgame as the Hydra-centric event Secret Empire draws closer to the horizon. We recently found out that Captain America and Baron Helmet Zemo are not just old enemies, but per the new past, we're also the best of friends, so this issue will be dealing with that. So starting off, this issue has a lot of flashbacks, so I'm going to be talking and showing the flashback portions first, and then we'll get to the modern day story here. We start off in 1940, a couple days before Project Rebirth, the experiment that gave Steve Rogers the super soldier abilities that turned him into Captain America. Where we see him being prepped, and Dr. Abraham Erskine, the creator of the formula, walks in. The good doctor tries to hook up Steven with uh, the nurse, but she's got a steady, and Steven gets to hang out with the doc instead tonight. We see Steve arrive at Erskine's house, where he starts babbling on about his days at the university. Little does he know, our good friend Steve here is up to, up to something a little more sinister. The doctor is talking about his Rinder Goulash, a German version of Beef Goulash is actually pretty good, uh, before walking outside to see Steve gun in hand. Erskine tries to talk him down, and for a second it looks like it's actually working, until we see Erskine shot in the chest with the culprit, not Steve, but a young Zemo, who proceeds to extract the information stored in Erskine's head for Hydra. It turns out Project Rebirth will be taken over by someone new, someone familiar, Armin Zola. Back at the house, Helmet confines in Steve that he's been watching and protecting him and will never leave his side. The final flashback shows us moments before Project Rebirth is about to begin, with Armin Zola quietly confiding in Steve that he knows his dedication to the cause, and he is about to become Hydra's greatest spy, with Steve not looking too happy. The modern portion starts off at Jack Flagg's funeral who passed away last issue after being in a coma for too long. Just in case you guys didn't know, Cap was the one who put him in that coma. After this service, he talks to Rick Jones, the Marvel Universe's favorite sidekick turned hacktivist, about where his predecessor, the former director Maria Hill, could have gone. Steve then takes a moment to talk to Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, who is currently stranded on Earth, what he thinks of Captain Marvel's plan to build the S.H.I.E.L.D., the giant planetary force field. We see Captain Marvel address the public as she has already made some headway in building this thing, and is telling the people of Earth why it is good for them. Meanwhile, Cap has been speaking the entire time to a mystery character who turns out to be Zemo. He explains to Zemo that they've done a lot to him, to make him hate his father and they even made him younger, and while Cap has been telling him his story, he hopes that he believes him. He tells him that he is his closest friend and that this must be his choice to trust him, and turns off the energy bars keeping him prisoner. They stare at each other and in the end, Zemo accepts that what he is saying is true and embraces his friend. In the end, we see three different dialogue, uh, dialogues, epilogues, we see Red Skull and Crossbones walking across a war-torn landscape that has just been bombed by S.H.I.E.L.D. to find a mistle in pristine condition probably thanks to Cap. We next see Abril Kincaid, the current Quasar, who has a vision of the Thunderbolts who are currently in hiding and sheltering Kobik. And finally, we see Taskmaster watching footage of Captain America saying Hail Hydra, which doesn't look good for our favorite Hydra, Hydra agent. So there we go, quite the issue jam-packed with info. I gotta say, my favorite parts about this run are the flashbacks, just because it's really interesting to find out what exactly happened to Captain America. Spencer could have easily just have said, bam, you're a Hydra agent, you're loyal now, because you can do that with a Cosmic Cube, but instead we're seeing the build-up, how it all happened. Another interesting thing you guys might have noticed is when Helmet takes the info from Erskine on how to create a super soldier. Does this mean somewhere out there the formula still exists? Because that could be an issue when Secret Empire rolls around. My only problem with the flashbacks are, how far ahead exactly was Hydra planning? I mean, we still somehow got Cap here in modern day, so I'm curious if that was still an accident or if there's more to the story. You know, did they know the age of superheroes was going to begin? 
how, how, what exactly did they know? As for the modern day portion of the story, um, it was alright. At the beginning, the funeral just felt like it was reintroducing us to the uh, idea that the shield was being built and catching us up on current events that have been happening in this run. As for the scenes with Zemo, it was a little confusing. Did the flashbacks happen or were they just changes to Cap's memory because Zemo doesn't seem to remember any of the past between them? Or at least that's what I got out of it. If you viewers have a better explanation, feel free to post it down in the comments below, just what you think is going on. Now, out of the three epilogues, I think we got here, uh, I think Taskmaster carries the most weight. I've been waiting for someone to find out his secret for a long time, and for a while I thought Captain America was actually going to get away with all this, but he's finally caught, and we have a group here that knows this guy's Hydra, so what happens next is unknown territory. Now, by free comic book day in, on May 6th, Marvel has stated that Secret Empire Zero, by the end of the issue, everyone will know Captain America's allegiance to Hydra, so we have our time period in which everything will go down, so it's not too much longer. If you're interested, Captain America 12 will be out on February 22nd, 2017, apparently. I wouldn't trust that date, seeing as it's next week, but when it comes out, just head back here and it will be done. If you guys have any questions or comments regarding the comic, throw them down below. If you want me to talk about a comic, just let me know and it'll be done. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.